Hi, I'm Risha Zahir and I'm a PhD student at the University of Edinburgh. In this short video, I'll be presenting work that I did in a 10-week project during my first year rotations. In this project, we evaluated water community support for a neurodiversity teaching program designed using participatory methods. I'll start by setting the context a little. Autistic children and children with learning difficulties often face negative experiences at school, such as increased bullying and poorer mental health. This can stem from poor awareness about neurodevelopmental differences in learning and thinking amongst their peers, which can result in negative attitudes. Learning about neurodiversity at school, or LEANS, is a program designed to teach primary school children about these differences using the framework of neurodiversity. The LEANS resource was designed using participatory methods, which means it was designed by a neurodiverse team of researchers and educators. This approach was taken to create a resource that is likely to be endorsed by educators, parents, and the wider neurodiverse community. The current study was conducted as part of developing the LEANS resource, and our goal was to evaluate whether the participatory methods used were successful at creating an educational resource that would be endorsed by the wider community. To this end, we circulated an online survey on social media and mailing lists for neurodivergent groups. The survey was particularly targeted to the wider non-academic community, which we defined to include neurodivergent people, educators, and parents, but it was open to anyone over the age of 18. In the survey, respondents viewed planned components from the draft resource and rated each component separately based on whether they would support an educational resource that included it. Now, onto the results. A total of 111 respondents completed our survey, the majority of whom were neurodivergent. There were also high proportions of parents and educators. We found that on average, 90% of respondents expressed support for the LEANS resource based on the overall plans for the resource, the planned resource goals, the planned neurodiversity definition, as well as planned content for seven educational units. To conclude, this study demonstrates the success of using participatory methods to create an educational resource that was endorsed by members of the wider community. This is important since wider community support can determine uptake of the resource into classrooms, as well as the impact that it can make. Therefore, the study provides a preliminary basis to encourage participatory design approach in developing educational resources in different health contexts as well. Finally, we acknowledge limitations in the study, including possible positive selection bias, small sample size, and sample homogeneity. The LEANS resource has now been fully developed and released for use in classrooms. It can be downloaded for free by scanning the QR code that you now see on your screen. I would like to end this video by thanking my supervisors, the rest of the LEANS team, and you all for your attention.